Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do colour mixing in printing. So hopefully you'll be able to apply this method to producing other types of colours. But in this particular example, I'm going from a light blue to quite a vivid green and then going more duck egg to grey. So first of all, I start with, I've got this blue, which I've made with white and blue, mixed in some more yellow and white. And it's producing quite a bright limey yellow so I'm green so I'm adding a bit more blue there to make it a bit more of a green okay so I produced a print from that but then I added some white and some blue and this made it a little bit more duck egg color so we keep rolling over it to mix the colors together you want them really nicely mixed there a bit happier with that color now, this is when you need to be thinking about colour theory. So you've got the primary colours of red, yellow and blue, and you've got the secondary colours of purple, orange and green. And you need to be thinking here about complementary colours. My colour is still too bright. So by using complementary colours, you can get a bit of a duller colour, even all the way to grey. So I've got a green, so I'm the opposite colour to that on the colour wheel is red that is the complementary color so i will need to be adding a little bit of red into the green that i've made if i add a little bit like this it will still be sort of a duck eggy color but it just won't be quite as bright and i actually prefer this color this was my favorite color that i made this was the fourth from la from beginning um, in the little shot at the beginning, which you'll see again at the end so you can compare. Rather like that one. And then if I add a little bit more red, it'll make it even greyer. If I add too much red, it'll actually start becoming more red or purpley, something like that, which I don't want to go too far. That's quite grey, that colour that I've made there. Add a little bit more blue in get it a bit further away from the green okay and this is how I then made the print rolling it onto there actually in this in the last print as you'll see when I look through them all again you'll see that I didn't quite put enough ink on there because I'm using water-based inks they do dry quite quickly lining up on my registration sheet so I've got it in the right spot for my next layer rub it with a baron Make sure I get each part, which is nicely put on. You can see that's quite a grey colour. So using the colour theory, in, you can actually do it the opposite way around. So if I've got a red and I want to make that duller or greyer, I add green to it. So again, it's just whatever the complementary colour is. I would make blue and yellow to make the green first because it wouldn't be a 50-50 split of the colour. You'll probably end up needing more yellow. So I'd make the green first, then mix that into the red. And then add a bit more if I wanted it greyer. Another complementary colouring pair is blue and orange. So if I have blue and I want to make that a duller blue, I would mix a bit of red and yellow to get an orange and mix that into it. If I wanted, if I had an orange and that was a bit too bright, I would add a little bit of blue. Keep adding blue and I would get to a grey, um, which perhaps might be too dull. It depends what you're going for. Okay, and then the next colour pair for complementary colours is purple and yellow. So if you've got yellow and it's too bright, add a little bit of purple. So you make it up with a bit of blue and a bit of red, the primary colours, to get your secondary colour of purple. Add a little bit of that to the yellow. I always find you end up needing a bit more yellow than other colours, so be very sparing with your purple there. And then vice versa, if you've got purple and you want to make that duller, add a bit of the yellow. So these are the colours that I ended up with. So I got a nice pale blue, that's what I started with. Added the yellow, a bit too vivid. Added a bit of blue, still too vivid. So that The last two are where I've added red to get a less vibrant colour and the last one actually even looks grey 